if you are doing with the uh, information system, it's important to understand GitHub. And in this stage, I just give you a brief introduction how to utilize Git in Python. Depending on your computer, you need to install Git. So I, I'm showing you how to use Git in Windows, yeah. but I'm not sure if it is working well in the Mac or other computers. But let's uh, try it together. And if you have any issues, please let me know. So in the when you want to use Git, so you if you want to use GitHub, you need to install Git in your computer. So this is the Git. Or uh, maybe this is the last year part. So you can check from this side. Okay, so it's, I think they upgrade a little bit. Okay, the fashion. Yeah, you need to download it and install it in your computer. So in my case, I already have Git in this computer. Let's check. Okay, I have the kit. Okay. So if I have the kit, so it will show you like this kit GUI or yeah, I can use the kit CMD. It means just kit command. Okay. And or maybe I will need to use some kind of best. Yeah. yeah, if you already have kit, maybe you can access the kit command or kit GUI or kit best. Yeah. So Git best is yeah, how to access your Git through kind of terminal. If you don't have, then please download this one. Uh, this download files include the 64 and 32 bit. I think most of the computers now 64 bit. So just download for the 64. And then uh, Install it in your computer. Okay. I give the step by step installation step, but it might be different. Okay. So you can just uh, make it as default for every step. For example, next, the first, and then select the component. Then yeah, you need to install the best and GUI, and then whether it will support the git last file, and then everything with the .git will be going to the git. And if you have the sh file, so it will be running in the git desk. Uh, this notepad, it's up to you. Okay. It depends on your computer. Maybe you want to use just the general Notepad because I install Notepad plus plus. So for the Git, it's better to use Notepad plus plus. And then there's also some kind of uh, rules if you want to make your branch or you want to create master in GitHub. Whether you want to offline or just let the kit decide. So if you want to off-write, means you need to specify what is the main kit in your GitHub later. And I think the remaining part, just use the default, like just use the recommended from the kit. And just go next, 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 and next. Because uh, I think our class is not focusing on the kit, so you just use the uh, default one. It will be okay. Okay, please take your time. Maybe you need to download the files and then you need to install it. So I can give you some time. So while waiting your installation, so let's look at 
the PCS or Fashion Control System. We call it PCS or Fashion Control System. Yeah, it is a category of software tools that help in recording changes made to files by keeping a track of modification done to the code. So whenever you have a modification or whenever you change something, then you need to update. If you want to update, especially if you want to update with your friends, so later you will do the team project. So next week, I will share the template about the team project and you need to set up your team next week. So in the team project, your team members will do part one and the other team member will do part two the other team member will do part three but at the end you need to combine everything what will you do are you going to copy and paste all the files it's very tough job okay, if you just copy and paste everything so we can use this pcs we can use the github put everything on the github so everyone can get and share all the files so it is efficient collaboration so when you work with your friends it is good and then it can leverage the productivity and it is for the effective communication and assistance so whenever you do some changes you can make comment and then you can communicate with your friends and it reduces possibility of errors and conflicts. Okay. Especially if you do some changes, okay. maybe you do some your changes in your computer, but you didn't do changes in your friend's computer. So there is not consistent code. So with this kind of version control, it will make it better. And contribute to the project from any location. So you don't need to be in one place. You can work at your home and then push on the GitHub and your friend can get the code from the GitHub. So the centralized version control. So you have the PC one or the personal computer one. You have another PC and you have another PC. So every PC will have the working copy. The working copy should be committed to the repository and if you want to get the update, you just update in your current computer with the latest file in the repository. Okay. So there are several types of VCS. You can use local version control system. So in the local version control system, we just use the revision control system. Just local means if you type in the Microsoft Word, if you revise your document, so Microsoft Word will keep the record. So it is local, just for you. We have the centralized version control system. In the centralized control system, Usually we call this is only one repository. For example, in this university, we have only one repository for all students, for all professors and for all courses. It is not accessible from other university. And if the users want to get their own working copy, so it depends. If I'm a professor, I can get my documents as professors. As a student, you can get your working directory for students and so on. When you update something, yeah, they can also update. But it is different with the distributed version control system. So in the distributed control system, it contains multiple repositories. So each user has their own repository and working copy. So it means when you work, okay, 
have three percent. A will have their repository. B will have their own repository. C will have their own repository. And then if you want to combine it, you can combine it. And then you can take parts of the repository from A or B, or you can take also all the code from A and B, and so on. So we can define what repositories that we want to use. So we call it commit, push, and then the other people will pull and update. So the application can be using the kit. We can use Mercurial and etc. So today we are going to use Git. So GitHub is one of the distributed version control system. I would like to suggest you to connect to GitHub. If you don't have any account, maybe you can create your GitHub account. So you can go to the GitHub. So if you already have, so if you already have your account, then you can sign in to the GitHub. If you don't have any account, sign up first. Yeah. It's free for personal use, for the enterprise or for company or for getting more functions, you need to pay. Because we are just using for our small project, I think it's free. If you already have a con, then you can just sign in. Okay. So let me sign in. Uh, oh, maybe le later I will just... Uh, okay, let me sign in. Now. Okay, the new GitHub, they need the authentication. Okay, so this is the GitHub repository. Okay. So you can sign up. And get the account. So after you have the GitHub account, now let's try how you can share your code in the GitHub with Python. So let's try to create a new project. Okay, so I do not want to use the previous one because the previous one is too complicated. So let's just use very simple. Okay? So let's put the name trial GitHub. It's up to you. Okay. Now I will close this one. I will close the project. And then let me make a new project. Okay. So I hope that by now everyone can create your own project. I will create a Django project. Uh, let's say just try with the uh, GitHub example. Okay, so I keep everything as the default because I already did the Django project with this default. It takes some time to create the Django. Okay, now it appears. So the Django is ready. Now let's say this is the Django project and you want to share it to your github what should you do 
First, you need to have your git ready. So, if you finish with the git installation, then yeah, you can use this one. If you are not finished with the git, it is not possible because in the uh, in the Python, it requires the git. So you can connect to the VCS. Okay, what is VCS? This is the version control system. And if you look at this function, so PyCharm provides many kind of version control system. So you can connect to Mercurial, you can connect to yeah, Git repository, you can connect yeah, share a project on space. Okay, space is another tools. You can share your project on GitHub. So I'm just using the GitHub. Yeah, let me show you GitHub. So you can see that yeah, you can go to the share project on GitHub. Now, before you share the project to the GitHub, you need to add the account. So you need to have the GitHub account. That's why you need to sign up to the GitHub. So you need to add the account. What are the accounts for your GitHub? So there are several ways. Log in via GitHub, log in via token, or log in via GitHub Enterprise. The GitHub Enterprise is a commercial. You need to pay some money. Okay. So you cannot access this one, I guess, if you do not pay for the GitHub. For this one, if you link to the GitHub, I do not recommend this because you should go to the account Jet JetBrains and then the JetBrains will collect your data and then you need to install something, something, something. So it's yeah, it takes some time. So I do not want to use this one. We can use the alternative, which is login via token. Okay. So I will teach you how we can log in via token. So when you click log in via token, it will ask you to generate your token. What is token? So token is something that you can generate with your account. So you need to make the hit our account. So I show you this one. Okay, first click the generate. Okay. Okay, now I already entered the GitHub okay, because I just entered my GitHub. So you can see okay, this is my account. And then you can see this page. Okay. So this is new personal access token. So when you click the generate, it goes to the GitHub website. And this GitHub will ask your ID first. After you log in, then it will create this personal access token. So this personal access token, yeah, you can see here, this is personal access token classic function like ordinary OAuth access token. So this is the authentication from GitHub. Or we call this is the API from GitHub. So you can connect to GitHub via your Python. Uh, there are many things, okay. For example, this token valid for 30 days, and then what do you want to do with your GitHub account? So you can do the workflow, write, delete, or yeah, in this case, if you are at the admin, you can write or manage. Now I think it is only just read and so on. Okay? So there are many functions you can take a look on this one. 
and this one is the most Read the latest one, the latest function, which is copilot. So with the GitHub copilot, it is similar with the ChatGPT. So this copilot can give you some suggestion if you do something wrong or some errors in the game. Yeah, if you want to use this one, okay. I will not use this one because as I remember, uh, for the first 10 questions, it's free. But after that one, you need to pay. Okay, so I, I forgot they have the details. So I do not want to do with this one. Then if you already checked everything, just generate the topic. When you click, oh, okay, because I already have the same note. So I need to change something, this one. PyCharm GitHub integration plugin example. Let me just give this one. So if you have the same note, they will not allow you. So I need to give a unique note. Okay. When you generate the token, you can see that this is the token. So the token is from the GitHub API. And you can use this token by click this one, copy. Okay. So if you already copy this one, you can go back to your PyCharm and paste. So after you paste in your PyCharm, you can add your account. Now your GitHub account is available in PyCharm. You can just share your code. So GitHub will automatically check because now you have the project here. It means you want to share this project into the GitHub. And by the default, Git uh, PyCharm will check all the files. So it's up to you whether you want to share all the files or you just want to share some of the files. So let's say I'm just okay. Let me just share all everything. We call it this is the initial commit, or this is the first part of commit, or the first time you save the files into the GitHub. And then you need to specify the message. So in GitHub, it is important to write the message. Let's say this is the initial commit. So PyCharm give the message initial commit. So you can just use it. So when you add, okay, you can see this one. In the bottom, successfully share project on the GitHub. So if you want to see whether it works or not in the GitHub, so you can click. Now it shows in the GitHub. I have a new repository. The name is GitHub Example. What is GitHub Example? This is the name of my project. And then in this GitHub Example, it shows the folder. The folder is init ASGI settings URLs and WSGI. So it is the file here. In it, ASGI settings URLs WSGI. And then we also see the manage the TY. Okay. So Yeah, you already have your repository on the GitHub. What happens if you want to do something and then you want to update it to the GitHub? Now, let's look at the URLS.py. In the URLS.py, uh, let's go to this one. You can click URLS.py. Okay. The file code is the same with the PyCharm. 
Now let's suppose I want to add something. Okay, let me just make a comment. I modify this code by adding comments. Okay. So let me just make comments. So it means there's some new things in this code. Now I want to share it to the GitHub. So I want other members to see my code so they can get this new code. What should I do? So here, yeah, if you do any update, please remember you need to commit at the message and push to the GitHub. First, commit, add the methods, and push. So I will just look at this one, okay? If you look at the bottom part, uh, the upper part, you will see the git function. So the git function is available when you connect to your GitHub. So the first is update. If you see this arrow, mean yeah you want to get the file from github yeah because i just share my github so i cannot get any update okay. this is my own file the second one is commit commit means i need to send oh, i need to make this new thing in my pycharm and i want to put it into the git in my computer in my local computer so first i will commit so it means i do some changes you can see here what is the changes the changes happen in the urls.py okay the changes happen in the urls.py because i just make a new comment you can choose which file that you want to update in the github repository after you check that one now please make the message okay. now this yeah this message is necessary in github so let's say i'm just writing i write additional comments okay so this is a message to verify or to inform other people that you want to do something. There are two options, whether you want to commit only. If you commit only means you update the files in the kit in your local. If you commit and push, it means you will update the kit in the local and then update the kit in the GitHub. If you want to do directly, you can just commit and push. When you do commit and push, yeah, at this moment, let's just use master. Okay. Because later on, if you want to specify where, where do you want to save, whether you want to save in the master or in the brands, okay, there are some options. So let me just put it on the master. And then I will push. Okay, so if it is okay, you can see push one commit to the origin master. So PyCharm give you the message. And then after you push it, then you will see. Okay, so this is the urls.py. So originally there is no comment in the file. You can refresh this one, and now you can see that there is the comment that I just added. So every time you commit and push, commit and push, then the GitHub will update your code. Okay, so I think this is the first, okay, 
for doing the GitHub. Now there is no assignment, but later on, if I have any assignment and if you need to make a kind of program, yeah, you can try. So you can save on your GitHub and then you can just submit the GitHub link. Okay. So you don't need to submit your file. You just send GitHub and then send me your GitHub link and then I will check based on your GitHub. But please do care about the time. What does it mean? Okay. So for any assignment, I will give you deadline. Let's say the deadline is yesterday. But you forgot something and then you just update it by today. Okay. Then, yeah, of course, I will check the time. If the time is less than the deadline, yeah, I will check your code or anything that you need to submit for the assignment. But if the time is more than deadline, then I will not assess your assignment. So in this case, there should be no changes after the deadline has. Okay. So please be careful if you uh, submit your assignment using the GitHub. Please pay attention to the time because the time is review here. Uh, you can see. You can see here. It has been updated eight minutes ago. Okay, so the timestamp is clear. Then, if you suddenly update the time, yeah, we can see directly when is the latest update. Okay. Okay. Please try. Okay. This is just a kind of way to deal with your team project later. If you want to use GitHub, of course, it will be very, very helpful for your team project. But if you want to still use manually, like copy and paste with your friends, yeah, it's up to you. <laughs> because of course, it is more, yeah, it consumes a lot of time when you exchange the file and then you need to set up in your computer again and then you need to update and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Especially if your computer is Windows and your computer friend is Mac. Oh, it's very trouble. Okay, so with the GitHub, it is more convenient. Okay, I think that's all for today. Any questions, comments? So, okay, we can finish our class today. So we will meet again next week. And next week we will do more things about the Django and